How's it going guys? In this video, I want to talk about where is the best place in the Philippines to start a new business. Also, I have a new channel called California Expat that I would love you to check out. And if you're interested in subscribe, but for now, let's talk. I'm just back last night from another trip to Manila over the last couple of weeks. We're starting a second office there. As you guys might know, we started our original office in the Philippines in Cebu City in 2019. Got everything kind of up and running with me coming back and forth. And then I moved here permanently in January 2020. But for most companies, they're not going to start with somewhere like Cebu City. I think that often people are first and foremost thinking of Manila for whatever reason then most people I think only are considering a bigger place like Manila when they think about starting a business in the Philippines. But is Manila the best place to start? Let's have a look at that in this video. So when it comes to thinking about geography and business in the Philippines, it really first comes down to thinking through what type of business do you want to have? And then really thinking about the location from there. For me, I have a business process outsourcing company here where we are always recruiting for our outsourced digital marketing team for outsourced employees. And so I really need to have access to as many highly talented employees as possible. And there's a lot of competition. For my type of business, it makes a lot of sense to think of a bigger city. Now Cebu City is the second biggest city over here in the Philippines and a great place to start a business like mine, where you need to have a wide variety of people that are able to do highly skilled types of jobs in digital marketing or sales, things like software development development, people that are very good at human resources and different types of things like that. There's already a lot of big companies in Cebu City, which means there's already a lot of people living here that are able to do the types of things that we need to do. However, it's not enough. And so that's why I'm starting a second office in Manila. Manila is the biggest city obviously here in the Philippines. And so it really made sense to start a place where I could attract even more talent to be able to do the best we can for our clients. Also, more and more companies globally are getting in touch with us because they want us to recruit dedicated employees for them that will be working for their companies, not just for things like digital marketing. It's also things like legal or architecture or jobs in the medical field where people are doing things from our office here in the Philippines, but working for companies in the US or Canada, Australia, different places in Europe. So as a result, I really need to be able to have access to more and more people, but that's my type of business. For you, you might be looking at something that's totally different. So you might have a business that really relies on logistics and and shipping or a business that really relies on very low cost items. If that is you, then I think Manila really makes the most sense. Everything tends to come into Manila first. If you're looking at any districts that just have low cost products selling different things, Manila is really your place. So when I lived in California, as an example, there was so much in Southern California where you could just find very low cost items in bulk. Of course, there's other places in the US that are similar like that, but not everywhere. So no matter what country that you live in, where you start a business is going to really matter. The other thing is I find in places like Manila, you find more people in more types of positions that are highly skilled, that have had a lot of experience. For whatever reason, it seems that in the Philippines, people often migrate to a bigger place depending on where they're born. So people from Mindanao will often migrate over to Cebu, where I am, if they're looking for more job opportunities or perhaps a higher paying job. And people from Cebu will often migrate over to Manila for the same types of reasons. But people in Manila very rarely are gonna go over to Cebu or Mindanao. So I think for those reasons, there's so many people that wind up in Manila. However, there's also so much more competition over there with other businesses that are looking for people that are talented in different job areas. There's a lot of supply, but there's also 
a lot of demand when it comes to employees over there. The other thing to keep in mind when it comes to Manila is that's a really big place. So often people will talk about Metro Manila. Sometimes, for example, where I'm from in the US, if people talk about Metro such and such, often they're just talking about a very small downtown part of a city. But here when people are talking about Metro Manila, they're really talking about the greater Manila area. And that's a huge area with a lot of traffic. So to drive from one end of Manila to the other might take hours and hours and hours depending on traffic. So if you're considering starting a business in Manila and it's a business like mine, you really want to think about what area in Manila. If it's a really nice area like Makati or BGC, great place to live. But depending on how much you're paying your employees, those might be too expensive for them to be able to live in those areas. You might want to consider a place that is kind of more mid-level, very nice area, is a business district, but maybe kind of middle of the road with costs. On the other hand, you may want to consider to a lot of different offices in different areas for a pretty reasonable cost. Actually, things like co-working or seed leasing, as it's often called here, is a lot lower in Manila these days than it is in Cebu City, where I'm at. Even condo expenses, dedicated office spaces, I'm finding you could get lower cost places to live. And for offices in Manila, even the so-called more expensive areas of Manila, Manila, like Makati or BGC that I'm able to in Cebu City. And I think that would surprise a lot of people, uh, but that's what I'm finding as of right now as I've been doing a lot of research as we open up a second office in Manila in one of the nicer business district areas. Here's something else though. Again, depending on what type of business that you want to open, it's not just the big cities in the Philippines that have a lot of opportunities for opening up a business. You may also want to consider a province area or a smaller area where there isn't X or Y or Z where you could really fill a need. For example, if you wanted to open up something like a hardware store, if you try to do that in Cebu City where we are, you have a ton of competition, but there might be a province area where people need something like a hardware store but there's just not one in their area. It might make sense for you to open up a business like that where there's a high demand, but a low or non-existing supply. So again, it really comes down to thinking through what type of business you want to open and then looking for where people really need what you have, where there's more of a demand and not an oversupply. So really when it comes down to it, these questions in the Philippines are the same as anywhere else in the world. You really want to find product market fit where you're able to find a product or a service that people need and a market that really needs it. A group of people that is really demanding for your product that's going to pay for it if you open up the store. And it just takes a bit of research. So I've talked about just a couple of the smaller areas. Of course, there's also very strategic areas like Clark, where there's just so much growth when it comes to new businesses. Also in Luzon, just like Manila is, that I would consider as well, especially if you needed a large talent pool of employees. Anyhow, guys, this is just a quick overview on thinking through these types of things. If you have more questions, make sure and let me know in the comments below. If you have a business over here, I would love to hear where where you are, what you're doing, and how you found that area to do business in. As always, guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch and take care.